hello viewers welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is uh, what is toxic mega calling but before starting i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos for more information you know you know the large intestine is the lowest section of uh, your digestive tract and uh, it includes your appendix colon and rectum you know and the large intestine completes the digestive process by absorbing the water and passing over the waste as a stool uh, to the anus, you know. And there are certain conditions that can cause the large intestine to malfunction, you know. And uh, one such condition is like a toxic megacolon or mega rectum, you know. And uh, it is a general uh, term, you know, that means the abnormal dilation of uh, uh, colon, you know. And the toxic macolon is, is a term used to express the seriousness of the condition, right? Now, uh, you know, it's rare and uh, it's a widening of the large intestine that develops with a few days, within few days, and can uh, be life-threatening. And it can be a complication of the inflammatory bowel syndrome or the Crohn's disease. The next thing is, what are the causes? Well, <coughs> you know, one of the causes of the toxic megacolon is the inflammatory bowel disease, known as IBD or the Crohn's disease. You know. And the inflammatory bowel disease causes swelling and irritation in parts of your digestive tract. And these conditions, uh, the de these diseases can be painful and cause uh, permanent damage to your large and the small intestines, you know. And the examples uh, uh, of the irritable bowel, irritable bowel syndrome are like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, you know. And uh, the toxic myocolon can also be caused by infections such as uh, Clostridium difficile colitis, you know. You know, it occurs when inflammatory bowel disease causes the colon to expand, to dilate and distend, you know. And when this happens, the colon is unable to move gas or the feces from the body. And if the gas or the feces build up in the colon, your large intestine may eventually rupture. And the rupture of your colon is life-threatening and if your intestine ruptures, bacteria that are normally present in your intestine release into your abdomen, you know. And uh, this can cause a serious infection and even death. So it's important uh, to note that there is uh, there are other types of the megacolon, for example, like uh, pseudo-obstruction megacolon, you know, or a clonic uh, ileus megacolon, you know, or the congenital uh, like uh, colonic dilation. So these are other forms, you know, of the megacolon or toxic megacolon. You know. And uh, these conditions uh, uh, can expand and uh, damage the colon, you know, and they are not due to inflammation or infection, you know. Now the next thing is what are the symptoms of the toxic megacolon? Well, you know, when the toxic megacolon occurs, the large intestines rapidly expand. And uh, uh, the symptoms of the condition are may come on sudden and may include uh, uh, bloody or uh, uh, profuse diarrhea, abdominal pain, abdominal tenderness, fever, or bloating of the abdomen, like distension, you know, and uh, painful bowel movements and shock, you know. So these are the common symptoms. And uh, it's life-threatening, you know. And uh, if these symptoms develop, you should uh, uh, call for immediate medical attention, you know. You should call the ambulance uh, straight away. Don't waste your time because it could be life-threatening, you know. Now, the next thing is how do the doctors diagnose that someone has uh, toxic megacolon, you know. Well, if you develop the symptoms of the toxic megacolon, your doctor can confirm your diagnosis through a physical examination and the certain tests, you know. And uh, 
they will doctor will ask you about your health history and uh, whether you have the irritable bowel syndrome uh, disease you know and your doctor will also check to see if you have uh, tender abdomen you know and uh, uh, if they can hear the bowel sounds through the stethoscope you know placed on your abdomen you know and if your doctor suspects that you have the megacolon or the toxic megacolon you know you may he may order more tests and additional tests may include like abdominal x-rays or um, uh, like uh, uh, blood tests such as the complete blood count and the blood electrolytes you know and once diagnosed then uh, uh, what are the treatment options and other question you know you know the treatment uh, usually involves surgery and uh, if you develop this condition you will be admitted to hospital and uh, you will receive the fluids to prevent the shock you know and the shock uh, is a life threatening condition that occurs when an infection in the body causes the blood pressure to decrease rapidly you know and once your blood pressure is uh, stable uh, you will need surgery to uh, correct the toxic megacolon you know and in some cases toxic megacolon may rupture or tear or uh, uh, perforation may happen you know in the colon and this tear must be repaired to prevent the bacteria from the colon from entering to the body you know and even if there is no perforation and the use of the colon may be weak like uh, tissues may be weakened you know or damaged and need removal now depending on the extent of the damage you may need to undergo a colectomy uh, and colectomy is the procedure which involves either a complete or the partial removal of the colon and uh, you will take antibiotics during and after the surgery and uh, the antibiotics will help prevent a serious infection known as sepsis you know and sepsis causes a severe reaction in the body that is often life threatening and uh, the second thing is it possible to prevent this you know it's a complication of the irritable bowel disease or the Crohn's disease or the infections you know and uh, if you have one of these conditions you should uh, follow the doctor's advice and uh, this may include like uh, making lifestyle changes and uh, uh, taking like certain medications following your doctor's advice can help to prevent to control the symptoms of the irritable bowel disease you know prevent the infections and reduce the likelihood of uh, developing the toxic megacolon uh, the next uh, and the most important question is about the outlook or the prognosis you know you know if you develop toxic megacolon and uh, promptly seek the treatment in hospital uh, your long term outlook is very good and uh, so that's why it's very important that if you have any of the symptoms of uh, uh, the toxic macron like per perforation, sepsis, or shock, or coma, you know, s you should seek the, in case of these symptoms, you should seek the medical attention straight away, you know, and don't waste your time. And if the complications of a toxic macron occur, your doctor may have to take serious measures like. Uh, complete removal of the colon may require the surgery you know in fact it requires surgery and uh, these devices will like uh, then there are different approaches which are used for this uh, uh, surgery you know but if treated early its prognosis is good thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.